ZANU PF HQ Live. The ZANU PF National Secretary for Information and Publicity is introduced by the Director of Information and Publicity, C.D. Farai Maripira, who then turns the podium over to C.D. Mutsvangwa. Mutsvangwa C.D. In a calm election, we prevailed, and we are now concentrating on governing. We are pleased with the growing support we are receiving. The electorate decided on legitimacy. The events surrounding the boycott of parliament disgust us. Developments in the legislature are unrelated to ZANU-PF. An independent branch of government is the parliament. Occurrences where CCC left parliament over letters of recall from a member of CCC caused a lot of mayhem in the legislature. They have not refuted the fact that he belongs to the CCC. He informed the clerk of parliament, who had to respond in accordance with the constitution. A member of the CCC who holds office wrote the letter. The Clerk of Parliament is not the author of the letter, he is only operating in accordance with the letter, but CCC wants to place the blame on him. The CCC is in a difficult situation. Lawlessness will have an impact on your party if you allow it to spread, hoping that one day it will turn on your enemies. Our CCC party has a leader who was installed in office following a coup in Bahira. He is unable to call a Congress because of his insecurities. He fears having structures because he believes someone will seize power. Donga Watanga, Rave. Who is doing what is unknown? Competitors of his are working against him. Inside CCC, this is an internal matter. In contrast to them, we have structures here. No one in ZANU-PF just gets out of bed and starts recalling people. We don't hold public protests against the laws of this nation. Instead, we carry out our own chores. Instead, CCC should handle its internal uprising in court. They want to blame the president or the speaker for the uprising. The ZANU-PF does not benefit from a split opposition. We cannot be considered to be undermining the opposition that we want to face off against in elections because we want opposition in parliament. Who are we as ZANU-PF to disagree with the opinions of the populace? We want productive discussions in the parliament. Chaos is bad for democracies, but this chaos is self-generated. Shamisa was welcomed into the Wapusa Wapusa, where everybody is free to do as they like. He claimed that in order to conceal from the authorities, we desire to become disorganized. The uncertainty of his strategy is now getting to him. That ZANU-PF would be destroyed, but now he is being consumed by it. Senior CCC members have admitted the state of anarchy. Individuals like Bidi and Chamisa, as well as their powerful supporters, have also accepted the crisis. In order to avoid assaulting the speaker, we want to implore the CCC to address their house first. This comes after the CCC attempted to take advantage of SADC by dispatching Nevers Mumba to advise heads of state on how to handle the Zimbabwean elections. Gladys Latchwayo and Jameson Timba are among the members of the delegation that CCC sends to SADC. Chamisa intended to impose his will on duly elected heads of state. Who are you, Chamisa, to instruct heads of state? Chamisa is currently attempting to fabricate local mischief in order to claim that Zimbabwe is in crisis. Within CCC, Chamisa is a despot who wants to control the nation the same way he runs his party. He is performing for the Western Capitals audience. CCC sought to use the tools it had gotten from the EU to publish its own findings. The metropolitan areas of Harare, where CCC runs, must have received funding from the EU if they want Chamisa to win. Why doesn't the EU support town development here if they wanted CCC to triumph? The EU only provides CCC with funding for subversion. While they are at the state house, they seek funding for them. Cholera is currently affecting the towns in our cities that the opposition controls. We anticipate that the EU will finance their CCC's efforts to eradicate cholera. Clearly stating that we are not a part of the Wapusa Wapusa party is our goal here. We are working hard to improve the nation. Boycott. But guess who was in parliament today? The CCC. Despite their talk of a boycott. Parliament is not a place where you can pick and choose what you want to take and what you don't want to take. 
Shamisa is attempting to buy his way back into parliament by using his boycott talk. This kind of conduct is inappropriate for a man who wants to be Zimbabwe's president. He wants to engage in direct negotiations with President Mnangagwa, with whom he typically has no issues, in order to resolve his internal conflicts with Beatty and Welshman. He wants to engage the president behind cover of darkness, and that is how he manages CCC. He wants to work out a deal with the president without telling his co-workers. The president claims that I am unable to assist you in resolving your internal disputes. Chamisa seeks to include our president in a plot similar to that of his fellow members. He wants to make a secret agreement. The president is urging people to come forward with their issues rather than using me as a crutch. To solve its issues, CCC should rely on its internal mechanisms. Also, they need to be watchful not to permit those who are not authorized to send letters. Instead of appealing to the EU or SCDC, the letters must go to court if they reach the parliament. We wish to cooperate effectively with the EU. We value the EU as a business partner and would like to collaborate on all fronts, including debt reduction. They should start preparing for 2028 now if they want Chamisa to be president. So that the people may choose them, they should start sending development funding to CCC-run councils right away. Party organizers must be sent by the EU to CCC in order to prevent a Wapusa Wapusa celebration. It appears that Chamisa is lacking in organizing theory. Danga Watanga is being celebrated. The CCC is surprisingly rife with attorneys. Chamisa should receive lectures, or they should send him to Europe for two months to have a taste of all the European parties. He needs to take Party Building 101 in order to become alert about improper letters to the legislature in order to quell internal unrest. Because Chamisa cannot take advantage of SADC. We are vigilant revolutionary parties in SADC who are aware of how slavery and colonialism have impacted us. The EU wants Chamisa to triumph on election day. Before 2028, the EU should begin educating their Chamisa about political organization. In contrast to the EU, the Chinese are working with us, sending their investors, and developing the necessary infrastructure to encourage people to support ZANU PF. China outfits ZANU PF for fight. And the EU ought to do the same for the CCC so that they can be elected.